What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Brutii. So to remind you of what happened last time, uh, well, the most frustrating thing last time was well, we took Rome. Uh, we also had the Empire of Thrace, who were our protectorates, just decide they weren't going to be our protectorates anymore. And I had no option but to comply. I couldn't force them to uh, stay our protectorates. So I've turned some of my armies around to immediately swiftly and brutally take the cities back. So I'm actually going to do that here. Now I'm afraid, Thrace, it's a slaughtering for the lot of you. That's going to be the the end result of your betrayal. I mean, <laughs> they asked for... They asked to become a protectorate and I was like, yep, cool, I'll go with that because a protectorate means... Well, Protectorate's territory still count as your own for victory points purposes, and I thought, okay, it means I can kind of forget about the northeast. But they decided they did not fancy being my protector anymore, and just said, "We're leaving." The Thracians have sent their warriors against us. Do not fear; they are only men, and men can be killed. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? They think their walls are enough to stop us. They should think again. We slightly outnumber the enemy, but take nothing for granted. Victory must still be earned. Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. You know my reputation and skills. And I tell you, an army has yet to be recruited that can take a city from me. We go now to our bloody business! Hoorah! So let's get my... Cretan Archers can sap. Triari I can probably sap. I think I'm probably going to send... I mean, I'm assuming dogs can't sap. No. Glenn there, puppy! Dig! There, uh, Triarii. Can Triarii sap? Yeah. Okay, so. Let's create... Some little clusters of troops to help push in to the breaches. go. Might even bulk out this section here a bit more first. Then we've got a good choice of a good number of cavalry to do some good stuff. We've got a general's bodyguard. Okay, let's go. So this unit's going to get hit by that tower. Oh, they were, they were opening fire. No need. Your job is not to be archers. It's to, it's to get into, it's to get into the tunnel, and start doing some digging. There we go. Look at the what the fire from that tower. Don't worry. Just get in. Just get in. It's a really bad sap point. The rest of our sap points have gone in quite well. Oh, we lost, we knocked off some of the men there during the wall collapse. Roman skills have proved themselves once more. There we go. The walls are broken. So we're knocking down the walls. That one's going to be a bit late. Set these guys to push up. These guys can also push up. Right now they're just going to be set to walk. I might even get my, my these Cretan archers, just let them get out of the breach, just to start to fire on the Falksmen. There 
you're back to being engaged. I wonder if I sprint my equites in, if I can knock out those Falksmen pretty quick. There's a chance these Praetorians could do that. Because they're good heavy infantry, but they are not very well armoured. Let's see how well the Equites can do it. The Equites can do it, the Praetorian. The Praetorians could definitely do it. Well, don't stop. They are being slaughtered. Back you go. You guys attack everyone push in so they're going to sit here and take some fire from this building you may as well just get in there These mercenaries are going to go down pretty rapid. The minute they do, my men are going to spill out in both directions. Let's try and get some of these units up on the walls. Get our Praetorians in there. No, General's bodyguard. Okay, this is this is not good. I'm gonna drop in pretty quick, partially from the fire from the towers. So we need to knock out these mar these mercenaries rapidly Greek light cavalry should probably fall quite quick actually just set you guys to run up that tower immediately ignore the fight There we go, the general's being knocked out. These guys are going to form up and then try to get up onto the wall. It's these guys are the guys that I'm concerned about. There goes enemy general. Send in the war puppers. And they get Roman cavalry. You men are going to get into the tower. You're not going to take it yet, but you are going to... Oh, come on, just get in there. You guys may as well charge into the Falksmen. There we go. You men push past. You guys push into there. Try to get some men up on the wall. Like you guys, like look. They're gonna run around. Get up there, get up there, get up there. God, it takes so much effort to get men up on the walls in this game. Typically with disastrous results. Some of our cavalry is routed, that's understandable. They are being chased down by the general's bodyguard. Okay, so let's keep trying to take the towers. You guys 
run into position and then finally take the tower. Okay, so... This infantry can walk, can march up to here. You, you, and you march up to here. Then, as we're managing the remainder. Of cavalry, could probably stand to speed up time a little bit. Okay, you guys actually sit here instead. That way, you can take out this light cavalry. But if those hoplites come around the corner, the phalanx pikemen, then we'll get some fire support from the towers. Our war dogs are not doing very well. Although I'm sure... Do my dogs just chase down... Yeah, my dogs... My dogs are off and they're chasing down the routing cavalry. Not bad, that's what they're meant for. Did the general's bodyguard come in again? You fools. Let's run our attempt to run our infantry into a position that allows them A to use their peeler and B also also uh, allows us to use the firepower of the towers. There we go. If they want to try it. phalanx they're not being shot at okay let's take these guys capture that tower because that would probably like to fire at them javelins are in god they're getting slaughtered by javelin fire You guys just take the wall. So the doggos are fighting these peasants. They are. Okay, you guys push up. You guys push up. Cavalry, 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 cavalry. Just send my cavalry to run in. To the centre, those equities. Push up there. They can't stop the war dogs. So who's back here? Triarii, legionary, legionary, Triarii. You guys, you guys. God damn it. Shift. Okay. That, okay. Why am I cacking this up? There we go. Just set those guys to run up. Or to push up at least, not necessarily to run. Uh, 
There we go. Infantry kick off. There we go. This general will take out the Phalanx pikemen as they route back to the centre and find it already under our not our not our entire control, but you're there you go, you're doing that well. You men hit the peasants in the rear. Come on, lads. Delicious peasants. Could have dropped your lances and given them a charge. Oh well. There she blows. There's a couple of... Okay, so you're... Oh, we've got some militia hoplites fighting to the death. I sent them to go attack them, but at the same time... Uh, look, at, look at these Triari, where the hell are you going? Nah, just see the timer out. These chaps don't really care. They've not even taken their tower back. There you go, they're going to shuffle back to the door. <laughs> right when we get to the combat. But we've taken them out. Tertius the Killer, who I think might be my faction leader, he's done a great job. He's managed to uh, take out this first Thracian city. Then these swines will be exterminated. Probably knock down the Odeon, knock down the shrine to Dionysius, Dionysus, 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 one or the other. Okay, let's build up an army barracks to allow us to do some retraining. Campus City, you're going to go down soon. Salonika has recruited their archers for this army to the south. Athens pick up some Praetorians. Hello, Sivia. Let's get the Skippy. I have dropped some more men off the coast. Let's get these men. Over the cross the gap. We probably need to have a bit more of a robust control of the seas than we already do. Even into Croton, let's retrain the ships. Got two of their ports blockaded. And then we've got another... Actually, where's our... There it is. I could land and take Carolus. Land and take this large city away from the Scipii and then continue to push up the western front. Because right now we've got a good amount of troops here. Actually, let's boot that unit of Prince pays out because they're pretty weak. Pretty much we just need to burn a bunch of turns and do some recruiting. And what I could probably stand to do is maybe go on the offensive against the Egyptians. Because this force here is a whole bunch of archers. But I've not really got a lot of good cavalry back here. Order. We've got some Roman cavalry. That's the best I can get. Okay, if I take... Hmm. Could do with archers as well, really. Let's get some archers in here. Well, I've got. Oh, yeah, I think I might have enough actually. Let's just take you. Let's take. Okay, first of all, Galerius, push out. Take our core of Urbans and Praetorians out first. Let's then push up 
these archers. You men can sit inside Tarsus and retrain what you've got. And then let's take this Roman cavalry into the force. Let's take these legionary cavalry. Let's take these legionary infantry and probably these triarii. Although it looks like I didn't actually move them. Let's put, bring some more infantry across with... Okay, let's go for another early legionary unit. Antioch is recruiting four archers. That's now not what I want you to do. It's probably to recruit... Well, it's probably to recruit more early legionaries while you build up your barracks. If four will do, you guys hop into the city and likely can be retrained to get better armor upgrades. The new men are in a position to push against these two Egyptian forces. Can you, this force of Salamis, leave the city? No, you cannot. So here, let's start to gradually build up a force of Town Watch to occupy the city while they build new ports, probably an arena. A new, new, um, new temples and arenas. You guys can attack that Egyptian fleet that's following you. Blockade there. You men are still on the move. So Irene's rebuilding. You blockade the port here. Alexandria looks pretty weak at the moment. The archers are moving up. To be honest, Corinth here got two quite young looking generals. Well, the one's got. This guy's a good manager. The other chap has more influence. Because this guy's now the governor, for some reason. We're going to take the other chap. There we go. There's early legionaries in there, you've got his urbans in there. You've got Praetorians on the go. You men pick up another onager. So we could probably add on a few more urbans. Thermon have got men that could well, they could go to the Roman front, but to be honest, the Romans have got a good amount of production as it is, so you men march over here as well. And Croton's starting to churn out some legionary cohort. Let's check the building tab. Croton. Let's get... Let's get a practice range, finally. Thermon, let's get a Colosseum. Amphitheatre. Larissa, get... An awesome temple. Kydonia, you can get a scriptorium. Bovavum, you can get a new upgraded temple. Tarsus, you finally finished your upgrades. You can try and go for a trader to work towards to try and work towards some of these other buildings. It's curious why it doesn't let us build the sewers. Why it doesn't let us upgrade upgrade the sewers to a bath? It's a bit funky, I must admit. This army is ready to be on the march. Let's actually use our assassins to attempt to knock out some... Knock out some of our enemies. Hey, did he get him? He got him. Then who are you after? De Jehutimis. However that's pronounced. There he is. 24%. I missed him. But if we can push and knock out this army, this force here can then turn east and hit Damascus, and then this force can probably sail and hit Sidon. Sidon, Sidon. This force here, as it's grown, can land and hit Alexandria. This army is going to go down and hit Siwa. So let's hit end turn. You're going to march up back towards the Thracians. Right now, all of the Italian peninsula is just recruiting men. Hey! Their reinforcements are bringing... They've sucked in a... Skippy our unit that has a unit of something aboard. Whatever it is, we sank it. The sea is ours. 
Capua are on the go, trying to blockade our ports as well. Armenia is carrying on being a meanie. Yeah, Thrace is going to carry on being a scoundrel. Ah! Full, full Judii army. You men get ready to... Uh... Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Can you guys run any of your... Oh, they can't make it. They don't make it. I we'll have to fight these Julia on the open field, even though we've yeah, got a good amount of cavalry, some weak units. Although we can steal some units from here, so let's take those two units. That those legionaries are still useful. Let's take these onagers out as well. So we need to find four units, which we can probably get from here. We can get these urbans, these auxilia. Actually, no, hold on, urbans. Early legionaries, Roman cavalry, Roman cavalry. So we are going to hit this Julii army. I just want to do some more counting first. We'll land these men ashore. I'm going to maintain siege at Carolus for now. You can now push because well they've <laughs> the other army's abandoned it's abandoned the front check the building browser oh, like a build oh, no 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 build city plumbing Aquinsum build build a temple sardis build a temple Ankara build the amphitheater polarison build an amphitheater campus get I build a amphitheater Amphitheater. And I did notice this guy. Aquinson, can you build actual troops? You can. Although you're probably going to want to bulk out with some legionary cohort first. The Germans. I mean, if you want to try and hit love of them, you're welcome. We are armoured to hell. But let's take this force under Lentulus Galenus. And go and attack these Julii swine. So I don't know if they'll be able to... Well, they shouldn't be able to withstand us, because unlike the SPQR, they, their armies do not have the same amount of armour. So it's just regular Hastati. We are facing the murderous and cunning Julii, fiends in human form. They are a dangerous foe, and unkind when victorious. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. They have been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. There is no advantage in numbers to either side. Therefore, skill and courage will be the keys to this day's battle. They may try to hide in the woods and spring an ambush, but we will not fall for such an obvious trap. These people have yet to taste victory at my expense. Today will be no different, so lay into them with a will. The seer has been consulted, but his vision is clouded. Today we make our own destiny then. Now, take up the sword! String your bow, look to your arms and armor. Now comes the hour when we test Roman courage. Bit of a delay between that. Uh, the cheer and him finishing his speech. What I'm going to do is turn off this. I'll make sure what well, is turned off. Turn off hide foliage, although it makes the, the game is beautiful with all the trees it does make coordination a bit of a pain in the backside okay so we've got praetorians and urbans in the front rank let's get some two lighter lighter infantry around to try and press around the flanks 
And then we've got a big cavalry advantage to push even wider around the flanks with my archers in the centre, providing that constant withering fire. My general is going to get involved as well. Damn, it looks like they, they aren't hanging around. Send my cavalry up to go and chew up their equites. Send this cavalry around wide. Okay, let's get rid of this now. So Roman Cavalry should do a real number on Equites, and it has. Are my men hidden? They are. Surprise! Don't die, General. There we go. Get these cavalry over into the centre. These other units have hit some heavy cavalry. So my General up to go hit them. You guys go clear out those guys. You men march on to those Julii in the center. There we go. Are they withdrawing? Yeah, they are. Try to chase down Le General. You guys try and smash that unit of Astarte here. Victory is distinct possibility. You shouldn't be beating my my uh, legionary cavalry, but there we are. Who'd have thought it? Having a massive qualitative superiority while at the same time having similar numbers. It's pretty dope. The general's made a made a break for it and he's gonna get it. So the job of my cavalry is going to be to destroy them men. Keep this go after them, you guys swing east. We're going to continue. They are not soldiers, only Our archers can hold up. Just get everyone committed and just keep mowing them down. There you go, you chase down them. You chased on that one archer. So you knock out that unit. Okay, they're both down. Okay, let's knock out the trees. I do want banners, I don't want unit status. I oh, know you're. Oh, no, wait, no, no, no. You guys need to go. Chase down them. Everyone else go hit. Well, except for the starty. Let's speed up time. Knock out that last Hastati. There's only one of them. There we go. 
<laughs> God damn. That's the kind of battle you want to see a lot more often. <laughs> so that army, is, that city has been protected. So then this force is going to drive west to go hit Julii territory to directly west of us, Mediolanium. Put the city under siege. Could probably dump some, then some troop, dump some troops in there to defend. But it's no matter. You guys pick up some legionary cavalry. Yeah, you're on the march. Onward. Although, can you guys? If you guys, no, oh, you can't retrain. You can merge. Imperator. So if I take, if I merge and I take you guys, remove the Triarii and the Equites, like that, and then I, instead I give you General. Praetorian Legionary, Legionary Triarii. As well as another unit of legionaries. This force, under my faction leader, can continue against Thrace, while this army holds the city and does a bit of retraining. There we go. You guys are just building troops, just 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 in case they fancy pushing south. You're going to get a Mediolanium. And this force is going to go hit the Egyptian guy here. So, I can't remember if the Egyptians have... Uh, well, they've got uh, chariots. They've got lots of archers. Although, actually, no, no. I want... Yeah, four cavalry is pretty good. I don't know. I haven't fought the Egyptians in a long time. All I know is most of these guys get absolutely dicked by... Uh, by cavalry, but I don't know about art about um chariots. I know they get you can skirmish them with your archers, but let's try to take them out. It's not it'll be the first time I've actually fought Egypt on the field, so it'll be an enlightening experience. I think my previously when it comes to fighting chariots, I've just swamped them with men, but with the way this game treats morale, I don't think that would be a great decision. But my cavalry will need to be quite active because they've got so many so many archers so my general's going to get involved as well there you go my cohort i'm going to be moving up in the center i've got some triaria i can run run around to whatever flank seems well wherever the wherever the uh Chariots seem to mass. Switch to loose. Okay, you guys actually. I'm too late. You guys hit the general, you guys go after them, you guys push forward, hit the archers, you guys. No Pharaoh's bowmen are sturdier. But they are still cavalry. At the end of the day, it looks like did those It looks like the chariots just melted in front of my dudes. They did. Okay, go, 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 go. Q. 
keep pushing up my guys. The Pharaoh's bowmen obviously getting stuck in. You guys charge the pharaoh's bows, the pharaoh's guards, although you guys run away. Although I've definitely got these the wrong way around. Guards are withdrawing. They're all withdrawing, I think. And there's Triarii. I've actually got in against the Egyptian general, heavy cavalry. The Pharaoh's guards are. Oh, the archers took him out. Pharaoh's guards are wavering. They should break. There they go. Sweet. Okay, I think... I think that's everyone. Well, those Pharaoh's... Okay, send them... Okay, let's get my men... Get my men deployed to go chase down enemy troops. There we go, let's speed up time. We're going to continue just because they are. Although it looks like it, I think it's just those guys. Well, my archers were just chewing the crap out of my own cavalry. But there you go, Galerius Helvius has surrounded and engulfed an Egyptian force and now their cities are eligible for my men to storm into and capture for the greater Brutii Empire. Victory! The question is do they go for Sidon or do they go for Damascus? Damascus is a large city, Sidon is a huge city. I suppose they go on to a Sidon, Sidon, because they are it is immediately within range to charge. So maybe this force of Salamis might go down to hit Jerusalem. Or maybe that this force of Salamis might go down to hit Alexandria itself. And this force is probably going to just auto-resolve this fight because mostly archers and skirmish cavalry. So... Exterminate the population because they are scoundrels of an enemy state. Let's repair the stuff. Good. It's quite a good general. Quite a good admiral, actually. Let's go kill him. Yeah, didn't kill him, sadly. But we can clear out the Julii. We may end up making an enemy of Carthage, but if they do, that's fine. This army, it's a sea. Well, that's a siege army right there. So let's take this cavalry, send it over here. Let's steal your unit of cavalry. You go over here. Then Rome, when they when they finish recruiting their uh, four archers, this is more of a battlefield army that we can send out to attack these rebels. So this man can push up around the flank here. So Cyrene's we're on the push to Cyrene. Force here at Salamis is 
30 percent it's not enough don't worry about all the stuff that's not currently being done we have a new merchant they can secure our slave resource send up our diplomats north and let's hit in turn oh we're gonna knock out these armenians are we well, attempt to, anyway. Uh, retrain. 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 Okay, cool. Let's hit enter. Get rid of that. Enter. Hmm. I understand the game wants to give you options to fix things you've forgotten to do, but at the same time, I would rather... Sometimes they just... Let me make my mistakes. Aha, here come the Germans. The Britons are also taking the opportunity to jump onto the Julii. Thrace is also march marching up to one of my cities. Is that an assassin? Well, it looks like an assassin. Let's see, to husband. Nero Tiberius, yes, with a name like that. Sh oh, nuts. God knows where the hell he is. Let's take a guess and say, my capital. Nope. Nero, where are you, Nero? I vaguely remember what he, what his uh, unit card looked like. There he is. Hmm. March up to here. Get ready to. You'll sooner or later pick up a force from Campus Ghetto to go hit Campus City. There are the Thracians. Oh, yeah, they're de they, they will definitely take that city. March a relief force up there. It'll take them a turn to recruit what they need to recruit. And my relief force should come in and hit them from the flank and do some quite good damage. You continue to drive up to the Northern Territories to make sure we keep building. So Tarentum can build Curia. Corinth can build Curia. Pergamum build a amphitheatre. Cyrene build a bath. Synop build a forum. Capua you can build. Aqueduct and Carolis. You can probably build a great forum and some walls as well. General. If I march this force out, Sans General, how unhappy does that make Arimnium? Fairly unhappy. So let's just build some. That's heavy onagers they can recruit there. That's pretty dope. Recruit some legionaries. So if you guys attack just the Julii. Praetorians, eh? Let's see how well the auto resolve does that. Uh, don't. Well, that's not really the army I wanted to fight the rebels with, but I might just auto resolve that because it's just a bunch of skirmish troops. Which means. The Rome garrison, well, when the Rome garrison's finished recruiting, they can leave the city. You guys can push up to Arimnium to hold it just for now. You've got... Yeah, you can put Patavium under siege. I hope this army isn't going to attempt to flank. So love of them. Recruit legionaries. Let's... Delete a unit of Hastati to make space. We may have to send some of these men uh, west to also help defend against the Thracians there. Because this army, this force in here is pretty, pretty stable. Let's hit, let's hit in turn. Ah. Make sure, make sure our ships over here, if they can fight enemy ships, we do make sure we are doing that. Upgrade a barracks and let's start to build 
potentially a not too terrible army in Carolus in case the uh, the Carthaginians attempt to come after us. Although they've got also Libyan spear from the Poeni infantry, which if they try and attack won't be super good for them. The cities, uh, my home cities, are starting to slowly fill up the garrison. Okay, let's head in turn. Oh, we're, we're marching on. Come on, Julia. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I wouldn't be surprised if they are going to pay the Germans to, de to declare war on me. Ironic, really, considering they were going to... Uh, Julia paid me to declare war on the Germans, and I took the money and never did. Hello. Are you going to assault us at Louvavum? That'd be pretty dope if you did. God, we're pretty much at war on every front now. Thrace to the north, Armenia to the east, Egypt to the south and to the east, the Julii and the Romans to the west. General, you... for sir. Okay, maintain siege for now. What have we got? How are we doing for defences? Stone walls. Okay, we could technically assault, but I want to put some men on the walls first. One army? It looks like they're going to try and head all the way over to Cyrene, but by the time they get over there, we're going to have some pretty meaty garrison forces here. Okay. So as we're blockading pretty much all of the Egyptian coast, they can't take their ships away to... Uh, they can't upgrade their navies. So if you leave Salamis... Very unhappy. It's getting better by about 10% a time. Yeah, there's Armenia. As long as we keep their home port besieged or blockaded, they can't actually do anything about us. Okay, let's get rid of that unit, these two units here. So where did the... Th okay, Thrace pulled back from Aquinson, which is pretty dope, because it means we can take these armies, combine them, march up to the bridge here. Because they do have a city, Lovasis, which I forgot about. We do have archers. If they wanted to make a proper fight of it, that would be pretty cool. Patavium, though, to the south is... Looking as strong as ever, so let's get rid of these Hastati. I'm going to recruit some more troops. Mediolanium. Probably just going to auto that, because it's just a... That army there has not come in to reinforce them, so it's just some cavalry in the general. Exterminate the populace. Retrain your men. It's going to take us a few turns. Repair the walls. Ah, here at Carolus, we do need to knock down. Oh no, we don't. Temple of Saturn's pretty good. If I march you guys out, you don't hate me. I can keep my garrison there. There's a chance that the Carthaginians come after me, but I'll take that if it if it starts to happen, then I'll worry about it. But until then, I'm not going to. If you guys merge. We can push out two of my archers. The garrison here can combine. Put Arishim under siege. You guys get into Rome. Retrain your men. Another Julii army out there. That one's a this one's a bit sturdier. Urbans, Principes, Ballistas. But right now we've 
kind of surrounded their position. You men join the forces of Captain Decimus here. He's probably going to push up to go hit Lovasis. You push up towards this Thracian territory. You guys march down over to Campus City. Let's check our building browser, Rooney. Croton. Build a Pantheon, Suggestica, build an Aqueduct, Apollonia, build Epic Stone Wall, Salona, build City Plumbing, Athens, build City Plumbing. Same with Thessalonica. To be honest, we're getting to the stage of the game where it doesn't entirely matter what we build at any one city, because our overall. Mazaka grew. Okay, that's brand new. Flash Flood. Mauritania. Nope, not us. Good stuff. So we freed up our ports. Their ports are still blockaded. I think I might go down here. No, I want those siege towers, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay, don't worry about all the inactive stuff. We've got a new merchant. Cassius of Mediolanium. Good, he's trading wine over in the west. I want to see if the Germans attack me. That would be pretty cool. Because it's not often I actually have... Uh, well, I've not had one siege defensive battle yet. I mean, I've sallied out at various times. Are you going to try and make peace? Let us end the bloodshed. Never! Until next time. Ah, you want to buy out one of my merchants, aren't you, you scallywag? Yep, there it goes. To be honest, I really should look at when the criteria for this campaign... Well, from when this uh, when this campaign ends. Because I'm only going to play it till the till the campaign objectives are met. I'm not going to push it any more than that. Because it's been a fun distraction. It's a love of them. Um, still besieged. I mean, I can sally. I've got eight turns. I'm willing to wait to let them build up more stuff to siege me with. Yeah, this has been a fun distraction. It's not really a It's not a a campaign that I would necessarily do a whole world like a world uh, world domination on just yet. Cause, I mean, it's no a lot of aspects of this game are just a bit funky. Okay, so Thermon, Colosseum, Larissa, got a Pantheon, Cardonia. Build a blacksmith. Rhodes. Build an army barracks. Aquinsum. Build a port. Nicomedia. Build an amphitheater. Polarism. Build a great forum. Campus Getae. Build a new port. Build a new uh, temple. Antioch. Let's get us some baths, Patavium, let's get some baths, and Mediolanium, let's get some sewers, because you haven't got, you haven't even got basic sewers. Ooh, which way are you going to go? Mediolanium? Or Patavium? Okay, let's run some of these. Oh, no, I can't run them up. Okay, you... Lay siege to Eurysium. It looks like it's just going to be a. Okay, hold on. Let's let's build two saps, two towers. I need to have a look. Actually, twelve more regions. Okay, well, twelve more regions. Not bad. Because we're about to take Siwa. We're going to hit Sidon. We're going to push up into Thracian territory. You were going to push up to the road. 
let's actually get some archers and some cavalry now. If you're going to go on the offensive against Thrace, I'm probably going to want to go south. Take this army here. Actually, what's going on over... Yes. So let's add on two more urbans. Add on two onagers. Add on these two praetorians. Add on these three praetorians. Good. And then I've got a an army. You go sail over to Athens. You can probably stop doing that and pick up a ship, a fleet. Actually, no, hold on. Let's take you men and bark you into the fleet. And let's sail you down. Ooh, Alexandria's got the plague. All right, let's sail you over to mainland Egypt. You guys are going to be should soon let us successfully leave Salamis. But let's take this force here under Servius Lanus and go and assault the city of Siwa. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.